My name is Teresa Chambers. I'm the retired chief of police from the United States Park Police, but I've served 37 years in law enforcement in various agencies. With my boss's knowledge, I gave an interview to the Washington Post, and so I did that. And perhaps naively, I and my press officer were thrilled with the message that I was able to put out. We were just confident that the Secretary of Interior and perhaps up to the White House would be thrilled with the message. It was the balance of supporting the officers who were doing their darndest post 9-11 to keep our country and our visitors and our icons safe and yet also advocating for those same officers. Uh, well, I certainly got their attention but within a few short days, the wheels fell off the bus. Um, I was uh, suspended as far as my law enforcement powers and sent home in December of 2003, fired seven months later. It wasn't very long before the National Park Service employees themselves coined the phrase, the Chambers Effect. Nobody wanted to tell the truth about anything. It was easier to just say, no comment, which is not what we expect of our public servants. For those seven months, I was on administrative leave, still being paid by the National Park Service, and I was under a gag order, albeit an illegal one. I couldn't give an interview. I could, and there were so many prohibitions that I couldn't do. But I came ho home. My husband had been up all night, and I went to my computer, and there's this thing called honestchief.com, and there's a paragraph on it. I'm like, what have you done? Well, that morphed into a, a, a website that is still available, and it became the repository for every audio file inv involved in the case, um, transcripts of depositions and court cases. In fact, the media to this day, if they're wanting to do an update, will go there because that's where everything is. What we didn't realize until later, in a way it kept Interior, the Department of Interior and the National Park Service, honest. There was nothing that they could do that wasn't going to end up in the public eye. A few weeks into this, I, I think it was a National Park Service employee that wrote to my husband Jeff on the website and said, you need to have Teresa get a hold of Peer. What's Peer? So he did a little research. He made the first phone call and said, we need your help. If nothing more than get the word out there of the wrong that's been done here, we wouldn't have had the, the financial support to continue this without Pierre being here. And then seven years, one month, and 26 days later, finally was restored to my full position as if nothing had ever happened, thanks to a lot of hard work by folks here at Pier. It was complete vindication. It was, it was everything I think all of us hoped for all along. 